Let us begin reading the adventure series Snowshoeing, which is pitched at Lexile 650. Let us begin reading the book. Adventure Girl Snowshoeing When Tilly woke up, she worried. What am I doing? She checked the weather and saw that the dash was just above zero degrees. Temperature, convenience, electricity, celebration. Its temperature was just above zero degrees. It was winter and she had traveled north to Brainyard, Minnesota. Her friend Betsy was going to dash her to snowshoeing. Introduce, represent, pronounce, interrupt. I believe it is introduce. Yes. When Betsy came over to meet Tilly, she already had important advice. Be sure to dash lots of layers out there. Be sure to fold. Draw, wash, wear. Most probably wear. She was getting ready to go out. Yes. Betsy told Tilly, That way you can start bundled up and then take layers off when you get warmer. The two girls got properly bundled up. Then they went outside. It may have been cold, but it was still nice out. The sun was dash and the park they were hiking in was beautiful. The sun was shining, pouring, darting, peering. I believe the sun was shining. Yes. Everything was bright and shiny. The first thing they did when they got to the park was to go to a shop. Near the dash head, the trail head is where the trail begins. The dash head, shift head, crept head, shrug head, trial head. I believe it's the trial head. The word is used in the context. This is our contextual clue. We need to get you the right equipment, Betsy said. The manager of the store helped Tilly pick out the proper pair of snowshoes for her it depends on dash of things rats bugs suns lots obviously lots of things she told tilly when you pick snowshoes you have to think about three things you have to think about your weight the amount of snow and how packed down the snow is you will find you you we will find you the perfect shoe snow shoe snow shoe we will find you the perfect snow shoe betsy helped tilly change into her snow shoes once they were at the trailhead the shoes felt strange on Tilly's feet. They were made of aluminium. They looked like shorter, wider snow skis. So why is it so important to wear snowshoes? Tilly asked Betsy. I'll show you, Betsy said. She took a step into some deep snow. See. How I sink into the snow without my snowshoes on? Now you try. Tilly stepped on the same deep snow. Amazing! She did not sink. That's because the big snowshoes help spread your weight out, Betsy said. Awesome, Tilly said. Tilly learned that snowshoeing was a lot like hiking. Except with snowshoeing, you didn't follow a specific tra uh, trail as much because they are covered in snow. Betsy was an ex uh, experienced guide. 
till he knew that they would not get lost as long as we always know where we are we won't get lost it's easy to get disoriented the snowy trails sometimes all look alike you must be careful betsy said the two girls hiked through the snow covered trees they packed snowballs and threw them at each other they also made sure to stop for water and food some people forgot to drink water because it is cold betsy said it's just as dash as ever while you are on the trail just as important stonefish sparkling welcoming i believe as important yes near the end of the day they came upon some dash in the snow they came upon some chiefs fishes messes tracks they came upon uh, some tracks in the snow tracks yes correct i think that might be a moose betsy said the two girls followed the tracks through the trees when they came to a clearing they saw a moose standing in the snow it was big and brown and its antlers were beautiful wow dilly said this is incredible we got lucky betsy said seeing a moose is one of the coolest things that could have happened the girls hiked back to the lodge and sat by the fire drinking hot chocolate they talked about all the cool things they had seen on their hike tilly knew that she would remember this adventure for a long time she had only seen dash in book and tv shows she had only seen moose sugar spear mercy most probably they had seen a moose so more that is how she's mentioning yes it's right what a cool dash to make cool valid memory cabman grease i believe it is a memory that she wanted to cherish yes it's right she was glad she had gone on this adventure and that is the end of the story